Dear ladies and gentlemen, greetings from Ukraine. My name is Veronica and I hope you enjoy our SLZB 06 XB adapter. I present you with the features of firmware version 098 a couple of months ago. The link to that review is added to the video below. In this video, I would like to show you the functionality of two new firmware version. Release version 099 and beta version 100. This release includes functional changes, visual and security enhancements. So let's have a brief overview. I'll start with the most anticipated functionality of this device, the ability to update Zigbee firmware in one click right in the web interface. Starting with the version 1.0.0 beta, you don't need to read long instructions, download and install software, flashing software to flash your Zigbee. What do you need is just press one button in web interface. Let me show how easy it is now. Step 1. Go to the web interface on the device. Step 2. I'm going to the System and Tools menu and choose System Tools tab. Step 3. Click the Update Zigbee button. Step 4. Choose the firmware version you want to flash the device. And that's it! Just wait for the firmware update to complete. Please know that the adapter must have access to the internet as it downloads the firmware file from the internet directly. Another innovation worth nothing is an additional security setting recommended by one of the device's users. He describes the desired functionality as follows. So, do you know what we did? Yep. We added device firewall settings to restrict access and allow only specific inbound IP address connection. Therefore, if you need to activate the setting, just go to the Settings Security tab, check the appropriate security settings and add to the whitelist IP address. Also, I would like to emphasize the firmware features that users often ask me about, namely resetting the default settings. In order to reset all the settings to the defaults, you need to press the button on the device and keep it pressed, while the powering on the adapter. After a few seconds, the yellow-blue LEDs will start blinking, which means that the settings are resetted. Another feature is special web flasher tool for flashing ESP32 chip. Firmware 100 beta contains significant changes, including the changes in the bootloader and partition table of ESP32. That is why to order the update version 100 beta, we need to flash it via Type-C cable. And here we also have good news. We developed a very easy and intuitive web flasher. Let me show how does it work. Connect the device to your computer via USB cable. Follow the link to the page. I will leave the link below in this video and also the link is official user manual. That's all. You need to wait a few minutes until you got the message installation complete and you can use the adapter SLZB06. For those users who don't have SLZB06 yet, let me briefly show you the web interface. Status page with all the information about the device. General with all the main settings. Ethernet page with all the Ethernet settings. Wi-Fi page with Wi-Fi settings in case you use to Zigbee Wi-Fi mode. Zigbee 2 MQTT and Zigbee Home Assistant page. Security page settings. System and tools with stop system controls and system tools. And about the page. Thank you very much for using the SM Lite SLZB06 adapter. Enjoy new features!